Okay. This is my favorite. It's a Camelus. It's marked USMC on the guard. Let me see if I can get that in frame. Here. I don't think I'll be able to. Well, just trust me, that's what it says. It says Camelus NY for New York. Didn't come with a sheath. And I, th and I got it very cheap because someone resharpened it. Deteriorates the value, but it's still a really nice knife, and I got a really good deal on it. Got these two. This one on the end and this one. Some antique show for like, they were 12 bucks all together. Really nice deal. Got some uh, just side caps underneath those for display. Um, an M1 pot. Um, I got down here is just a Spanish Civil War helmet with, my guess, a reproduction German helmet net. These things really have no value. I can probably buy one for 20 bucks. But they look pretty nice, I guess. Uh, here's a, a practice mortar round. It's really heavy. Sweet. Really a lot of heft to it. You can still see some of the, the blue and yellow paint that was on it. Most of it's gone. Uh, down here around the table I have a few more uniforms. This is more of a Korean era jacket, Korean War era. Um, he has a uh, Bullion third arm or third division patch, tank destroyer, some rank um, side cap, his ribbons. And I'll pull those up. Got a bronze star, purple heart, European theater with two campaign stars. Pretty nice, pretty nice set. But the guy I bought it from took all his Korean metal or ribbons and stuff off, so he kind of took apart the grouping. It's kind of annoying. I've been looking for something to replace it, just haven't really found the time. I've seen this one, I know. I like that one. Down here, I got uh, some shovels. That one's pretty rusty. Another one in the pack. Got a pick down there. And another one without a a case. Um, move over to here. We got a uh, field jacket. I don't know if you can see the markings on there or not. Um. All the patches are removed, but you can still make out an outline of a patch. It appears to be an 82nd Airborne patch, just because it was square. So I'm going to tab those above it. Not 100% sure, but I'd like to think so. That's pretty cool. Um, has one little defect. It's cut in the in the sleeve there. I don't really mind that. I like the used look, anyways. Um, Japanese flag right here, signed by, I'll say there's 10 or 15 American veterans. Arasaka up top. Bayonet. Grandpa gave me the rifle, my other grandpa gave me the bayonet. Um, signed autographed picture of Paul Tibbetts. Some kind of wooden box that came with the... Japanese flag. I don't really know what it says. Um, got a U.S. Marine combat uniform. Three pocket. Machete there underneath the picture. It's dated 1944. Um, right in here we've got just some random ribbon bars and I got aerial gunner wings right there again sorry for the glare third our third air force army air force patch little pin and 
What else is in here? Tank destroyer patch. Um, Army of Occupation medal with the Germany bar on it. And EGA. And that was really hard to see. Um, some random patches. Another e a bigger EGA. Marine insignia. Yeah, that's really hard to see. Grand clip. Um, this is a uh, M1 pot. With liner. Here's a uh, a British. I think it's an MK2 helmet. Not sure what that means. That that insignia there. Would really like to find out. Um, got civil defense helmet, coins. Um, some more an efficiency labor pin, a MacArthur pin, and an auxiliary police civil defense armband. Brett Siegel County, which is my county, so I really like this item. It's really nice. Down there, just got a grand ammo belt, some display clips, um, another radio. It came with that other one. Got them in a set. Uh, down on the bottom, just more of my grandpa's documents and his. Uh, I don't know if you want to call them a yearbook. I don't know what they're called. Um, down on the second shelf. A really nice M1. The paint's really bad, so I'm trying to scrape it off. But it's a early fixed bale. I think it's a fixed bale, if I remember right. Being held up by a BMG round. Um, nice liner. Here's some of my patches. First division, fourth, fifth. Oh, the Tenth Mountain, Second Division, and in the center are my favorites: Eighty Second Airborne, Hundred First, and Eleventh Airborne. Up top, actually, is Seventeenth Airborne. Some other good divisional patches. Um, and this is a Canadian gas mask. Got this from a friend for free. Side cap, Captain bars. Then uh, this this bag, the tags, came with the helmet. And that helmet is named actually. Um, down here in the bottom, just got some web gear, grenade, Voigt, uh 44 holster. It's an M1 carbine clip. Mm. And just pistol belt grenade pouches. Got some leggings under there. So, like civilian gas mask pouch. Um. I think that's about it. Oh, over here I got a, uh, a mountain pack. It's dated Boyt 43 right there. Well, I think that's about it. Look at everything. Over here, map of D-Day for the 186th Field Artillery Battalion. A silk map of Italy. Another machete underneath that. Oh, here's a pretty thick wool navy coat. Came with the uh, this one down here, the fur-lined one. Well, uh, thanks for checking it out. Hope you like my collection. See you later.